There's an all-out effort to contain the dreaded spotted lanternfly. These flies have been spreading throughout the mid-Atlantic and threatening the vegetation of many counties in Maryland. Our Gwen Talbert has the details on what you should know and how you can stop it. Hey, Gwen. Hi there. You know, parks like these are a big concern right now, but the main impact lately for Maryland has been nurseries, orchards, and vineyards, and it is really even affecting the grapes, something terrible. So they're really trying to keep a close eye on this. This is called a hitchhiker. Uh, this particular insect just kinds of hitches a ride on anything that's flat and vertical, such as a car or even uh, railroads, uh, trains, uh, things of that sort. And it is spreading quite rapidly all on up and down the mid-Atlantic and through parts of Maryland. Uh, take a look at some video that we have. Not only that, but it is also affecting so many different parts of areas that are under quarantine now and also some areas that have a lot more infestation than other. Now, the uh, tree of heaven is their main host, but they've now spread to many other different types of vegetation and trees around that they become a problem. I spoke earlier with uh, with Kenton uh, Sutter from the Department of Agriculture, and here's what he had to say. Take a listen. Anything that a lanternfly could latch onto and be moved to a new location on is something that we want people to be inspecting and uh, making sure that lanternfly aren't on it. That's very particular for businesses because we have a permitting system where we want businesses to go come to our website, take a permit training and acquire a permit, and then maintain records of the inspections of their regulated articles as they do business in the quarantine. But Hagerstown City is particularly bad. Um, Harford County around the I-95 corridor is also pretty bad. Well, here's a look at some of the trapping. Now, homeowners can put traps on their trees, or uh, one thing Kenton said, they could just squish them, but the traps help. But how can you help? He wants you to familiarize yourself with what they look like. Report your sighting online on the Maryland Department of Agriculture website and destroy any life stages that you see of them whatsoever and get permits. And the permits are mainly for businesses or people who are in transportation and they're traveling from one area to another where these hitchhikers could possibly... Uh, you know, jump on board and hitch a ride and just spread even more. And that's part of the big issue right now. They've caused millions of dollars of damage from the agricultural side of things. And so they're trying to avoid it. We can't uh, say we're ever going to be 100 percent without them, but they're at least asking people to be very, very aware of what they look like and identify them and make sure you do your reportings. And when you do your reportings on their website, make sure you include a photograph as well so they can be sure that you do have the correct insects. So like the cicadas, I guess they're here to stay, but at least we can all do our part to try to help to eradicate them. One of the things he also said is that there's no particular pesticide individually that works for these particular insects, the spotted lanternfly. So it's not like you can go out and buy something at, say, a Home Depot or somewhere and spray it, and that's going to be the end of it. He said that's not going to happen. Back to you.